scrotum, a pouch of skin containing the testicles. Ah, oh, so see, it's not a herniated scrotum, it's herniated testicles. It's a gold coated In the words before monkey, primal chaos reign. This podcast goes out to <laughs> Aaron Brunner's testicles. He, um, oh, you know, guess, hey, oh, uh, yes. welcome to episode 203 Three. tonight. Um, thanks for tuning in. This podcast is brought to you by Aaron Brunner's herniated, herniated testicles yeah. and Koala Karma, the chill out drink. Sit back, relax, and? And, oh, that hurts. That's what I imagine. Okay, no, no, no. We're saying herniated testicles. But his SMS actually said, herniated, and then two a picture of two soccer, soccer balls. balls. So that could be anything. So Craig, what do you reckon? I reckon he's got hernias the size of soccer balls. Oh. oh. Where? Stomach. Generally, it's in the stomach. I've what? got a um, hiatus hernia, which is like a, a stomach hernia. If I eat too much, it pushes. Uh, yeah. It's different, completely different. Yeah. And I wouldn't be using soccer balls in my, as my emojis to SMS you guys to tell me. But he's out of the hospital. He's feeling good. And Matt G tonight is not here. Um, I he's doing that. something sort of English. I could only imagine. Yeah. What do you boring. think? He, what do you think he'd be doing? I saw him the other day and he went to eating the Scottish Prish. Is it yeah. black and white pudding? Black, pu- black, black pudding. Black pudding. That's probably what he's eating. Yeah, down Ooh. the old. Uh, yeah. Where are you from, Craig? Shepparton. Yeah, originally. Shepparton? Where's that? Country Victoria. Country, he lives in Horsham. Oh. Too. Did you ever actually go to the uh, Speedway? Grab that one. The Blue Ribbon? Yeah. Yeah, many times. Excellent. Yeah. Did you? Mm. I probably saw Drew then. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Came seventh. And you detail cars. <laughs> I do. And w- was it like, I think I saw something Are on you your... Are you listening to this podcast? Put the mic close to your mouth. <laughs> I think I saw something on your um, yes. Facebook about... What is it? He doesn't just detail cars. He puts ceramic coating. Ceramic it's this new coating. thing. What's this? What's this? It's What's this? nuts. It is pretty it nuts. It looks good. What is it's it? It's like your car doesn't get dirty anymore kind of thing. It's weird. Can you put it on your hubcaps Is this still the intro? <laughs> Can you put it on your hubcaps so that the hubcaps don't get the brake dust? No. I've put it on rims, not hubcaps. Okay. Oh. What about on women? Ceramic coating. Yeah, that's that's a bit weird. <laughs> what about half Japanese women? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Worth a try. <laughs> Worth a try. So You'll never it, be filthy. What is it? What is it? What is it? So it's like, is it like sticker it signs? Is it like stickers? No. 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 Is it like wax? It's like wax on steroids. We've got a great show coming up tonight. Um, we bring back uh, Brandon Wakeling, uh, Olympic weightlifter, and Murray Goodwin, Goodwin. Uh, uh, track and field, 400-meter uh, specialist runner, won the Stalwell Gift. I can't believe it. Legends. And they're back uh, uh, to give us the great goss on uh, the Com Games. It was really cool. I think we asked pretty much every every dopey question we could. I wanted to ask more. It. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. have them back. We definitely are. They're, yeah. gonna, they're heading to uh, the 2020 uh, Tokyo Olympics. Would Brand it be good to have a plan like that? What are you going to do in the 2020? I don't know. That's two years away. I'm just bumbling my way through life at this point. <sighs> you know my wife? Can I tell you? Well, okay. My yeah. ultimate dream would be to have um, 2020. By 2020, we're going to have Robert De Niro on this podcast. Oh, he'd be 87. <laughs> Do you think cool, I'm though. reaching for the stars? You might be too old, hey. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's have a plan for this podcast. Oh! Yeah. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so sit back, relax, and listen to this one. Are you there, boys? Yeah! yeah. So he makes Let me tell you something first. Uh, yeah. Ricker hasn't seen one Star Wars. 
<laughs> you're missing out. Like you don't really need to. Like, Murray, they're at the point now where you don't really like they're one offs. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You wait haven't introduced yet, Murray. Hold on. That was just the uh, big second, intro to the show. Wait a second. This is coming from two people who don't even know who Archie is. <laughs> All right. It's another great Tuesday night in s- outstanding Burley Heads, uh, episode two hundred and three of this podcast show. Look at you, Rick's Rocks. Brought to you by. Koala Karma, the chill out drink. Sit back, relax. And what did I say? 80. 80 gold medals. No? I don't like that. I don't know. No, I don't like that. Yeah? I'll think of something else to say. We'll How are you? Yeah, You're looking good think. today. Thank you. Yeah. Stretching that shirt out a little. I know, I'm putting on weight. No. <laughs> you're, only, uh, you're only feeling weird because guess who's in the room? <gasps> Murray Goodwin, say hello. How are you going? Brandon Wakeley. Hello. We've got two comms games athletes here. Champions. That are back in the studio. It was probably at four, six, five, six weeks um, that you were yeah, here. Maybe a couple months. They just sort of dissolve yeah. after the game. So, yeah. yeah. Who knows? Yeah. We could be in, you know, September. We wouldn't know. No <laughs> idea. Now, I'm going to, just to, to set the, um, the, the thing first, we know that, uh, you know, I'll start with you, Brandon, actually. Yeah. You're on the podcast first. Yep. Olympic weightlifter. Okay, mm-hmm. that is your, your thing. Yeah. And did the Commonwealth Games after only training for what, sort of two years? Only it's one year in actual, wasn't two it? Two and a half from, yeah, around Com Games time. Roughly, yeah. Madness. Oh, two and a half. I thought it was only 12 months that you, oh. End of 2015, I started. So. There you go. So. Oh, sorry, I didn't really listen to you. You guys could, you know, like. <laughs> sorry. You could start for Tokyo now and possibly get a. You could like try and outdo him, you know. Like yeah. Tokyo oh. is what it's, possible. it's about. It's about a year and a half, to probably well, two years. I know what a snatch is. Two and a half. Yeah, well, you're halfway there. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh wow! Just, I bet there was. Uh, I don't know how many people. And Murray Goodwin, okay, um, incredible uh, sprinter. What you, is that? You, what? Yeah, we're the last of the sprinters. Yeah, yeah. four hundred runners. We're the last of the sprinters. So. Right. From there, we call them the skinnies. The, uh, the skinnies. Yeah, the middle distance and the distance runners. So yeah. The sprinters and the skinnies. Yeah. So we'll get to the... Um, uh, we we always wanted you to come back to give us the goss on what happened on this this incredible Com Games that I wasn't here for, it, to be honest. I, I went to I Japan. Know. Just like half of the city, by mm. the sounds. Yeah. 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 yeah, I heard it was yeah. dead. Like, there was no traffic. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a bit like yeah, like it, apart from the actual events, it was a bit, a bit, a bit sort of like apocalyptic. The uh, the it streets was. of the Gold Coast. Mm. It was. There was you more can, traffic you know. and more congestion leading up to it. Like yep. when they were making, like you know, making yeah. all the changes to the roads and everything. Once the bit game weird. started. But for your for your actual races and and your events, were there was it full? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. So you had yeah. the full uh, the crowd, the Insane, noise. Yeah. 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 Could you feel what we were talking about? Mm. Um, you know, especially you, Brandon, when it was your first, um, you know, Murray, you won the stall gift and, and you know, but, but for you, Brandon, you, I went it when it said, soon, man, you're gonna, we're going to have all of us sitting on your shoulders and here, here you were with a packed crowd, like you're about to lift. Was it a record weight you had to bust? No, to no, no. Bust, look at, listen to me say bust, is that um, even a word? Bust a move. <laughs> in yep. the industry, yeah. What did I hold? Like two and a half thousand people or something like that. You know, I was one of them. I was there. Were you? Yeah, I was watching him. It is, and bang, we're back. <laughs> you see, <laughs> so but oh. this problem with Mike, the, the mic isn't nearly as stressful as uh, what you champions. Well, you just guys missed. just doing, yeah. So we just missed a little bit of what Brandon was explaining. Yeah, where were we? I can't even remember. What we oh, because you were saying that um, it, it's kind of like a little bit of a letdown that on that day that you had to compete yeah. was the day you were having an off day. Yeah, absolutely. And so like everything you kind of trained for and everything you sacrificed wasn't yeah. reflected in the performance. Yeah, when you day. don't get to showcase all your hard work over that stint and you didn't do anywhere close to what you know you can do, it's obviously a very bitter pill to swallow, especially yeah. when you obviously believe that you can get to this level. And I, like I believed I could get on the podium and get a medal, and then when it doesn't happen, obviously it doesn't feel the greatest. But yeah. can you explain it? Like really, really. Remember when we 
uh, we had this podcast, I said, because uh, I remember important days or events in, in this week yeah. where I didn't sleep well. And, mm. you know, did you have any, did you have a good sleep? You know, what break that day down for me in every yeah. single um, way. Man, my sleep was fine. It wasn't, I didn't struggle too much. I think, you know, we went over this last time. But the sleep isn't really an issue, but... No jitters at all the night before. Here it comes. No. Can no, I just tell Brendo? Because I, I, it was my first weightlifting comp, like, and I, I loved it. Like, I, you know, I was, I was, I was hurting for Brando in, in terms of the result, but it was so cool to see, like, weightlifting for the first time and obviously yeah. at that level. Man, the, the, I didn't realise how much, like, mind games go on between, like, the, you know, athletes calling the whole time and thing, like... Oh, you only got like, and then they'll be like, "No, I'm not lifting that weight. You got to come back out and all that sort yeah. of stuff." Like, was that like level of that? Was that similar to what happens in other comps, or was that on another scale again to what it's, like you've done before? Uh, it's all the coaches that do that. We have like a table like this out the back, filled with like every athlete has their own sheet. Yep, and it says what your next attempt is, and the coach can walk up, cross that out, put a new weight. Yep, yeah. and then really? it'll get relayed. To yeah, the so these guys are like board. about like. They're pretty much like, we'll go down to the five, four, no, nah, not lifting. And then the other guy's got to sort of rate, like at times, like I saw guys miss lifts. They're like, they're just like, oh, I didn't even realise that to come out. And they're sort of just rushing out wow. and trying to run Gee. up to the bar and, and try yeah. and like suddenly set themselves and lift. Like they were, the mind games were huge. Like yeah. That part of it was really cool. And nice. also the, uh, and the pump up from the, like, I love the different styles mm. of the pump up from the, from the other athletes, like weightlifting, obviously, you're lifting heavy, like yeah. you're lifting some heavy tin out there. And these guys are like, the coaches on the side, and then the athletes themselves, they're all just their individual pump up. Like, okay. I think I was really taken by that. Yeah. And you can hear that from, uh, were you out the back? No, 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 I, was on, no. I, was on the, I was in the crowd. So yeah. the whole crowd gets yeah. to experience it's that. It's like when, that, when Breno was talking about that moment of like the silence, when the, when the yeah. lifter is lifting, the only person that you will hear like if for certain lifters, and they must have, like talk about it with their coaches. Is like some of the coaches are just like, they're, like they're really pumping it, even when it's yeah. going quiet. Yeah, coaches are loud. Some athletes obviously like to pump themselves up and maybe yell or something. Some like me, I'm kind of the opposite. I just try to keep calm and not make. Yeah. Who was your coach then? Uh, I actually had three coaches backstage. Were they messing with people's stuff? Were they setting up some hometown? <laughs> <laughs> Come um, on. Tearing bits of paper up, <laughs> pushing over flour here and there. Well, I wouldn't want to get disqualified, but I guess they can do what they can. I don't know. You, yeah. I guess just changing numbers. Like, say if I uh, had a weight set at 125 and I was going to go heavier, you could wait until the last second to change it to try catch the next person unawares. Interesting. Know, they, that, oh, is that wow. historically how it's been going forever? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So, so no one knows it. Game. Yeah. Isn't so there's nuts, some, like some poor dudes, like if there's people all playing the game, yeah. like they end up lifting three in a row. <gasps> so they're just having like huh. basically no break. So that it's must a be game really of hard. Right? In, as in well. snatch, it isn't too bad, but clean and jerk because it takes a lot longer to recover. It's a bit of a slippery slope if mm. you start missing. If you miss your first two, it's, it's a struggle to get that third one, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so so honestly, you, you're lifting three times. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. And then, okay. So, so what about? Oh, I'm sorry, Murray. Thank you, and thank you for chiming in with these great questions yeah, too. Yeah, because we weren't there. Yeah. So this is, this yeah. is a, I'm really interested in. Okay, yeah. How did you feel at the moment? Did you feel like this isn't my day? You know, you know that. No. Is there any lethargic? Um, uh, no. I've had those uh, days, man. We're just like, ugh. and then the other days, he's like, everything is just a memory of kicking ass. Like, yeah. Oh. Uh, I think just technically, I was just a bit off. Um, Where did you finish, by the way? Uh, seventh. seventh. Have we said that? Seventh. Yeah, yeah. All right, go. Um, yeah, it's obviously very easy to miss a lift. It can be out by the slightest for you to miss. And say you're not stretching up high enough, you're not getting your back set enough off the ground, like little things like that, that can cause you to miss. So if something's out on the day, obviously with added like nerves and atmosphere, you've got the adrenaline pumping it can, you can obviously miss. You can be uncharacteristic at times. Yeah. Well, I know one of one of his, Bruno's lifts. The crowd went nuts because it yeah. was like one of you, like, and then, and then the so everyone was cheering because he like got you know he got it up and he, he, most people like we're pretty amateur in what we know about the sport. So you know he's got the weight above his head and everyone's like going nuts. And then they, 
And then they went like even once he dumped the bar, then they like had little judges meeting, and it was like, no, nah, he didn't. What was it? Like, that was what? my second lift. Yeah. yeah, I got my first one at one twenty. I got one twenty four for my second attempt. Got three white lights from the judge. 